So what you guys are going to need to make this gorgeous squishy blanket is 6.6 .6 pounds. That's what I ordered. I got 6.6 .6 pounds of merino soft chunky blended wool. And that's it. That's all you're going to need other than your arms and the wool and you're ready to go to arm knit this beautiful blanket. This is how my merino wool came in the mail in a giant ball like this. And what I'm doing is just unraveling it and making a new pile over here. That way it's easier to work with um, when I am arm knitting with it. And it needs to be felted a little bit. Most merino wool, from what I've researched, when you get it in the mail, it's going to be super delicate and you're going to want to make it more durable for knitting with um, by felting it. So. That might sound a little bit intimidating, but um, I'm just going to do it the easy way. And I'm just going to, while I'm unraveling it from here and putting it in a new pile, I'm just running it through my hand. I'm not pulling on it really hard, and I'm not making like a really tight fist. I'm just making it so that it's tight enough to put just a tiny bit of pressure on the yarn. And just by doing that, it's felting the yarn a little bit and making it a little bit more durable. And then after I go through and unravel this entire ball, see that little piece needs to be felted back in. So after I'm done unraveling this and um, felting the entire skein, I am going to do it again. I might even do it a third time just to make sure my blanket lasts. I'm just going to take this piece right out. You can see it's so delicate, so we're going to have to go through two or three times to make it super strong. All right, guys, so the first thing you want to do is pull out a seven foot tail from the big pile of yarn here because we're going to do the long tail cast on. So we have one foot two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And then the next step is to make your slip knot. So you wanna drape it over your hand, pinch the two sides together, twist your hand away from you, and grab the working yarn and pull it up. The working yarn is the strand that's attached to the pile here. It's attached to the skein of yarn. And then we're just gonna move that right up our arm. Don't make it too tight. And then we're going to begin casting on our stitches. And I'm going to cast on 18 for my blanket. So what you want to do is place both strands, the working yarn and the tail, underneath your ring finger and your pinky. Okay. Insert your index finger and your thumb on your left hand in between. Twist your hand so that the palm, your palm of your hand is facing you. And then you're going to take your index finger on your right hand and you're going to go under this one, over this one, and pick up this one to make your new stitch. So, let's loosen that up a little bit. We're going to go under, over, and pick up that yarn to create our new stitch and go ahead and place it right on your arm. Tighten up just a little bit and then we're going to do that again. So again, place them both under your ring finger and your pinky. Insert your index finger and your thumb so that it's facing you and then take your index finger on your right hand. You're going to go under, over, and pick up the one in the back, creating your new stitch here and then place it right onto your arm. And we're going to do that until we have 18 stitches on our right arm. So we have our 18 stitches and now I'm going to go ahead and show you how to arm knit your rows. Row one, we're going to knit all the stitches from our right arm to our left arm. So hold the working yarn in your right hand, take that first stitch on your right arm, pull it over and off while holding the working yarn. You have your new stitch and you're just going to go ahead and place that right onto your left arm. Okay, and you're going to do that again. Hold the working yarn in your right hand, take that next stitch, pull it over and off while still holding onto that working yarn and you have created your new stitch here and you're just going to place it right on to your left arm. And again, pull that next stitch over and off, creating your new stitch and place that onto your arm. 
and I'm not tightening too much with this yarn because one it's kind of fragile and two it's such big yarn you really don't need to the stitches will still look nice and tight okay again hold the working yarn in your right hand take that next stitch and pull it over and off creating a new stitch and place it on your arm I'm just going to continue doing the rest of this arm here move them all over to my left arm and I'll show you how to do the second row okay so this is what one row looks like and now we're going to go ahead and move on to our second row and just move all the stitches over to our right arm so you want to hold the working yarn in your left hand this time take that first stitch pull it over and off creating your new stitch and you're just going to place that right onto your right arm tighten it up just a little bit okay now hold the working yarn in your left hand again take that next stitch off of your left arm pull it over and off creating your new stitch and place that onto your right arm tighten up just a little bit next stitch over and off place onto your right arm and you're just going to continue doing that until you have knitted all of your stitches from your left arm to your right arm creating your second row this is what two rows looks like and now we're going to go ahead and move on to our third row and that means we're going to be doing the same thing that we did in the first row moving our all of our stitches from our right arm to our left arm and I will say that as you're working with this yarn it does felt a little bit more so this is row three And as you're going along, just kind of tug on it a little bit because it will get kind of bunched up. But that's what three rows looks like. I'm going to continue knitting, um, moving the stitches back and forth until I have enough yarn left um, to show you how to bind off. So if you ever lose track of how many rows you've done, what you want to do is count these V's here. Okay, so you count the row that's on your arm. So we have one, can't really see this one because it's so scrunched up, but there's a V here. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then you don't want to count that last stitch there because that was your cast on um, row. So also another tip is if you started on your right arm, um, every row that you knit onto your right arm is an even number. So this was row eight. And every row obviously that you knit onto your left arm will be an odd number. So moving on to row nine, I am going to just continue arm knitting. I was able to arm knit um, 38 rows so far. I'm going to do another row which will make it 39 and then I'm going to show you how to bind off your blanket. 39 rows, now we're going to go ahead and bind off. So to do that you want to knit two stitches. One, two. And then we're not really going to tighten too much when we're binding off, but you're going to go ahead and pull that first stitch over the second one and off of your hand and drop it. And then we're going to knit one. And again, pull that first stitch over the second one and drop it and just tighten a little bit, not too much. Knit one, bind one off, knit one, bind one off. And you're going to continue doing this until you have one stitch left on your arm. We have the one stitch left here. So I have a little bit left over, but it wouldn't have been enough to knit an entire row. This is what I have here. So we've pulled it all the way through and then you're just going to tug on it a little bit and tighten it up. And then 
Um, you're gonna want to weave in your end. So what I'm gonna do here is just pull on this and break it, which was actually kind of hard to do. <laughs> so you know it's strong. And now we're just gonna go ahead and weave in our end. So I'm just going to follow where the stitches are actually going. I'm gonna go down here. Okay, and then we're gonna come up through the front. Down. What I'm gonna do in the back here is just go ahead and do a half loop under this stitch. So pull it through halfway. And then pull it through halfway again while kind of tightening that without ripping it. We're going to pull it all the way through and just tighten this as much as you can without ripping the yarn. And then you can trim that up or you can weave it in, whatever you'd like to do. And then if you go back to your cast on edge, what you need to do is grab each end because it is a little bit bunched up and we're just going to tug on it. So grab each end and just tug on it lightly, not too hard. You'll notice it stretch a little bit. Okay, and now it'll be the same width as your bind off edge. Weave in your cast on tail. We're going to go from the back of the blanket to the front. And then we're gonna go through here. We're just gonna follow that. I don't even know if you could see that. But you're gonna follow this stitch here and go to the back. This doesn't have to be perfect, um, just as long as it's secure. So now I'm gonna do the same thing that I did on my bind off edge. I'm going to find a stitch, pull the tail halfway through, making a loop, pull it through again halfway, and then pull it through to tighten this up a little bit so I have enough yarn, and then pull it through all the way. And that's it. That is how you arm knit a blanket with merino wool. And you guys, this thing is so soft and squishy. I will have the finished measurements of how big this blanket is on my blog. So if you head over to simplymaggie.com, I will have this blog post there with more pictures, all the materials that you'll need. And if you guys have any questions, please leave them down below in the um, comment section. Whatever you guys need, I will do my best to help you out. I will see you in my next video.